your dress. Yes. I love our green ensemble. We I know, I lot. was like, you are your green. It is weird though, it has like random yellow that you think is an accident. It's not. Oh, okay. um, how are you this holiday season? You I love Christmas? Good. I do. Yeah? I, I love the holidays so much. Me too, it makes me so happy. Do y'all have like, uh, you have a big family, right? I do have a huge family. Yeah, do y'all have any traditions? We have a lot of traditions. We wear matching onesies. I get onesies for of my course. entire family. Yeah. We usually start watching the Harry Potters and we just watch every single one. Every I, year. That's me and my kid. You've just explained my house with me and my kids. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought I was crazy. No, I literally put them, like, I. I think when they were younger, I was like, this might be too soon for Lord never. Voldemort. It's never because it's a little scary. <laughs> you know, the Dementors, all of it. And then, nope, they didn't care. No. And yeah, we watch it every, yeah. I love a onesie thing. Will everyone in your family get in it? Oh yeah, I forced them all. I love it, yeah. <laughs> I, I, was even, I even have it for our dogs. Of course, you can't, they're yeah, family. You can't forget Those them. Those are four-legged family members. Yeah. I, this is my favorite thing I've heard about you. You're so talented and so beautiful and gifted, but I love this story. I heard that the house that you grew up in, which was like many generations of your family, y'all ended up losing that house. Yeah, and then so you got it, was, it back? Yeah, so it was my great grandma's house. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Thank you. Well, how did y'all lose it? What happened? Well, no, so it was my, my grandma, my great grandma had this beautiful house. Um, it was like a two bedroom, cute house that they lived in. My grandma was born in it, my mom was born in it. And then as the kids got older, they built on the property another home. And when my great grandpa passed away and my great grandmother got old, they just couldn't afford to keep it anymore. Yeah, the upkeep. And always, yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. And last year I, I called up the owners and I said, I want to buy my great grandma's house back. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so cool, man. Yeah. And it's really cool too. Um, my, my grandy still lives in the house next door. So I'm neighbors with my grandy now. You're like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> like you're like a, do you get into those at Christmas time? I do. You do, yeah. Do. Uh, the lessons though that you got from your parents, I heard that you had just such a great upbringing. Like do, what's one that you kind of carry with you? Uh, well, my mom was, very hard on me, which I thank her very My mom much. was hard on me too. Look, yeah. I got no, a work I mean, ethic like no exactly. other. Exactly. Yeah, my mom was hard on me too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but she always wanted me to be able to do everything myself and be yeah. independent and not rely on anybody else. And if we were driving, like when I was learning how to drive a car, she only let me drive a manual until I got my license. Yeah. And uh, she made me learn how to Change my tire, even if my my tire didn't need to get changed. Yeah. Um, yeah, just stuff that like comes that. in handy. It does. When you're on the side of the road and your brother brought new shoes and he won't get out in the rain, and so you do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Are you serious right now? And I've got the manual. I'm like, Ah, oh, they're trying to. It's pouring down. Man. The one day it rains in LA a year. <laughs> anyway, it was really funny. But we can change tires. Can you change oil? I can do that yeah. too. I'm so oil. handy. I love yeah. that. I love us. I love that. We would survive the apocalypse. We I really would. Yes. We have something else in common. I love theme parks, and you worked at Universal, did you not? I worked at Six Flags Over Texas whenever I was a Stop, teenager. No. Yeah, no, I, I worked at Six those Flags. Things. Me too. No, I was a huge theme park person. My family and all of our friends would go to Universal all the time to the point that I yeah. memorized the Universal Studios tour. And oh, like the tram? Yes. Oh my god, I love like, you. That's my favorite thing ever. Oh, I love I the tram. I can go there and just recite everything, yeah. mouth every word they say. See, and parents like the tram because you sit down exactly for a little bit. Place. Yeah, yeah, yes. just for a little bit. But it's fun. It's interactive. I love but it. yeah, I, I mean, like every high school kid needed a, yeah. a job. Yeah. And I was taking anything that I could get. Yeah, I loved it. I actually worked at Six Flags, and I, I loved working at a theme park. It's just like a happy place. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and there are worse jobs. I couldn't do a cubicle. I'd go mad. No, that'd be hard. Yeah, people would hate me in that environment. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the speech from the tram? I'm not reciting that. <laughs> She said, absolutely not. That's yes, not I nice. do, but I bow out. <laughs> no, explain the new movie. I'm actually very excited about this. I haven't seen it yet, so anyone but you. Yeah, what, tell everybody about it. So it comes about? to theaters December 22nd. It's a enemies to lovers rom-com. Love. It's so I good. love Glenn Powell, too. I, I'm such a fan of both of you. And Thank so I was you. very excited to know y'all doing a film, and I love a rom-com. Yeah, no, it was just, it's so magical. We filmed it in Sydney, Australia, which is one of the most love. beautiful places. I've fallen in love, love with it. And it's based off of Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's a modern take on it. And you cry, you laugh. Yeah. It's a really good time. Oh my God, I thank you. I miss movies like this.
People don't make them enough anymore. No. They used to be like so like prevalent like all the time, but now they don't make it. Yeah, we want we want a rom com renaissance. I we love want to bring a rom com. To the theaters. We want them to have fun and enjoy themselves. Yes. There's big set pieces like we're making the rom com big again. I love that. I love. How did you How did you like Australia? You love I, I, I love Australia. I'm actually filming another movie in Australia right now too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna rough spend commute more time. for this interview. Oh, you know, <laughs> it's just a couple twenty hours. Yeah, oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, not enough wine in the world to help me in that scenario. Yeah, <laughs> the jet lag is horrible, but I love it. Once you get there, man, it's so oh, beautiful. It's amazing. And also the Aussies are the so greatest, cool. nicest people ever. Um, I also hear you did something else fun because I saw this video. Um, you did a, it's like a natural water slide. In yeah. Australia. Where is this? Because I've been so, to Australia many a times. Yeah, this is actually, so Joe, who he's in Anyone But You with us, um, when I was there like a couple weeks ago, he was showing me Queensland because that's where I'm filming the new one. Yeah. And he took me to this waterfall that's just a natural water slide. Wow. Yeah. So no bumps that really hurt like as no. you were. No, it was okay. actually, I was worried myself. Yeah. You never know what's yeah. gonna hit. Yeah, so someone smoothed this out? And Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, no, someone else took it for me. Natural water slide though, yeah. I've never done that. It was Very really Goonies. cool. Very Goonies, that's too old for you, but you should see Goonies, it's a great film. <laughs> I'll make sure to check it out. Okay, see, yeah. never heard of it, I thought so. Um, I am 41. Uh, so <laughs> you, I hear that you, this is really cool, but you're really cool and hot. Like you'd work on cars on sets, which I heard. That's so cool. Yeah, so you, you work on old, and I have a Ford Bronco, an old one. Oh, no way. And I had it restored uh, by someone who knew what they were doing, because I'm not that person. But I had it restored like to its classic like thing. The only thing was the engine. I had a Coyote, Coyote 5.0 put in, because I can't, I don't want to work on an engine, girl. But you actually work on them and like restore them. Yeah, so my best friend's dad, who she's actually here in the audience, oh. Jade. Hi, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> um, her dad builds and restores classic Porsches. And I yeah. bought this Ford Bronco and I called him up and he's been like a second dad to me my whole life. And I was like, hey, I bought this old car. I want to fix it up, but I kind of want to learn how to do it myself. That's so And so cool. he let me bring it into the shop and he just walked me through every step and we changed the transmissions and the brakes and the interior. And it it's was- It's like incredible how you keep getting hotter as this conversation. <laughs> goes on, like it's just so cool. Like I'm like, what? I just see you like with the car and you're just thinking you look awful, but it's like a rom-com and you look beautiful. <laughs> and like, it's so cool. I love I that you know. restore cars. Did you drive in Australia at all? Were you brave enough? Oh, of course. Okay. They actually tested I get every single person on the cast if they could drive a manual, but on the opposite side of the road. Look what your mother prepared you for. Oh, and guess what? I'm the yeah. only one who could. Oh. This is a personal shout out to your mama. Yes. That yes. is so cool. Yes. So Glenn couldn't do it either? Because I would have rubbed he, that he in. Needed, he needed a, <laughs> well, he needed a couple more lessons. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Anyone but you is in theater starting December 22nd, y'all.